Hi everybody, this is Nerds Faction. Today we will install FreeNAS server on our old computer that we set up in part 1. So let's start it, shall we? So let's start with uh, the download itself. So when you type and you will find the, uh, the, the the web address on the notes, on the comments. So you go on the freenas.org and you uh, locate the download uh, icon and you click on it. So you're there and right now the freenas server it's 9.3 beta. So I will not use this one today. So we're in November uh, today. So I will not use this one as a beta. I will use the previous uh, version. Just to make sure, uh, you see there uh, they have an installation for FreeNAS or it's an upgrade or an alternative, it's the download for the USB itself. Um, FreeNAS server uh, prefer to uh, install uh, their software on a USB drive. Um, but like I said in part one, my computer doesn't have a boot on USB, so we will use the upper one meaning installing FreeNAS. So you need to select the 32 bits and you hit uh, download from there. So we'll download the 9.3 uh, beta as an example. So you can save as, uh, it will be ISO, so you save as and it's downloading right now. So it will take a couple of minutes to download. So when it's done, uh, you just use any software uh, to burn the ISO on uh, a, CD, uh, a CD drive. We have the FreeNAS server and right now, even if it's uh, 9.3 beta, it's a download 9.2.1.8, so the one we want, basically, so it's great. So what we'll do is go there and select the one we want and we have here the possibility to burn our, uh, our uh, software. We'll burn on the CD. DVD with ISO. So what we need to choose is our drive. So we will take a CD. So we have a free NAS 9.2 here. So we'll select uh, yeah 40 x and yeah, there we go. And we'll start burn it. So we'll burn on the CD. The session is done. So you take your drive and we will put it into our computer. Right. So we'll be back. Okay, so we're back uh, on Nerds Faction. Um, let's uh, install the CD the CD uh, into our old computer. So let's start the computer. And first thing we will see is the BIOS. We'll see if he recognize our old setup, meaning our card we put there. So we'll do a pause. Hold on. So right there, uh, I will zoom a little bit. I hope you see well. Uh, we see there our uh, 60 gig uh, EDE drive and our CD-ROM, it's there. Uh, I still have uh, 768 uh, gig, uh, mega of RAM, sorry, <laughs> mega of RAM. Uh, right now when I boot, uh, I will do another one, another take. Uh, when I boot, uh, 
the boot doesn't work. So first issue here. So we'll start it again. So I put the CD there. So it's booting. So we have the the RAID appear. So we have the 232 gigs and the 298 gigs. Press the key to boot. So I'm booting. So he's back on the boot. Okay. So we have a problem there. So you see? It's still booting and booting in loop. Um, so to fix that problem, we need to uh, disconnect the RAID. We install the card. So we need to disconnect that uh, and make sure we boot uh, with uh, the CD to install the, the software. So let's do that. We'll be back.